are we in error by not participating in the ongoing saga of the public accounts committee chaired by the, the, um, the pro tem chairman, the Honorable Saldiva, who, by the way, um, was acting prime minister at the time when he declared himself pro, pro tem chairman. And they are saying, explain to us, how is it that they are analyzing the, the, the past, um, um, like the Venezuelan um, grant and the, or the soybean project or, or the audit of some year 2000? And uh, I said, well, they go in, they have a public hearing. It takes about an, an hour. Sometimes it takes about 20 minutes. They ask a couple of questions. And it's over. They go to another scenario. They go to, if it's today in Venezuela, tomorrow they go to soybean. They say that is. That is, that is a show, that is show voting. That is, that is exactly what it should not be. They are saying that on average, any investigation that PAC does, on average takes approximately 18 months for it to be done properly. It has to be analyzed, it has to be investigated, the proper information has to come forward, the proper professionals have to come in to do it properly. Then you have in-house hearing, what they call in-camera hearing, which is not public. And then they go with the public hearing. It is a whole procedure that takes care. And then a report has to go to Parliament back so that the remember PAC only recommends so that then the, the Parliament agrees that the proposal that the PAC is doing is something that, that needs to be done. If it has any criminal charges, then it goes to the DPP. But we in Belize see how that happens um, when not even the Commissioner of Police is willing to do his job when it pertains to a certain issue. And that is the problem that what the social media, sorry, the social partners have stated that the PAC meetings that are being held is a, is a charade. And, and it, is, it is exactly that. And so they are saying that if we would have joined in that, then we would have given it the credibility. And therefore it would seem that it is normal and it is happening and it is working for and on behalf of the people of Belize, when in reality it's not.